what you're going to see are there are 10 scales because this class that we're going to go through has 10 scales. It has one on values, and that's what we're going to go through the rest of this course today. We're going to talk about defining success and where would I score on this metrics, okay? Where would I score on this, on this grid? And I'm going to talk about what is a very high score and what is a very low score. So, so I'm going to define that for you here, and then I want you guys to define it yourself once you get this metric, and you'll get it today, or at least I'm going to send it to the jail today. So values is defining success. And here is you, what you want to get. There's 10, different, there's 10 different rows on this grid, and that's what this course is going to be defined in. First of all, values. And that means how do I define success? Second is going to be goals. That's going to be what we're going to cover tomorrow. How do I set a very specific goal that helps me get the outcome I want? Third is going to be attitude. Do I have the right attitude? And we're going to, we're going to score that, okay? Then it's going to be, the next one is going to be um, aspiration. We'll do that the next day. And that's going to be, can I see myself where I get out when I'm defining success? Can I see where I'm going to be a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now? And then five is going to be action. That's the fifth one. We'll cover that one on Friday. Okay? Then next week, we're going to cover accountability. Okay? And we're going to cover on Tuesday, awareness. And accountability means how am I holding myself accountable? With awareness, we are going to cover, is my head in the game? Am I doing things correctly? Authenticity, we're going to cover on Wednesday, and that's going to be, am I for real? Am I the real deal, or am I somebody who just talks about wanting to be successful? And then there's going to be achievement. Am I celebrating every achievement as I go? And then there's going to be appreciation. That's what we're going to conclude a week from Friday. So those are going to be the 10 different lessons that we cover along this path. And what I'd like you to do is assess yourself. So when I tell you that I'm going to give you this metric, it's not for me to judge you. It's for you to judge yourself. If you believe that people that we can learn from people like Malcolm X, or Viktor Frankl, or Bill Gates, or Steve Jobs, or Jack Welch, or Dr. Shlomo Shmuel, or you know anybody else that, I, that, that has introduced me to these concepts, well then, I've got to be able to measure it. That's what this metric is for. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull it up and just kind of go through it since you guys can't read it, okay? So with regard to values and defining success, I'm going to give you guys my, my life, right? Because I can't speak for anybody else's values. I can tell you what was important for me when I was in jail. Once I came up with this mindset shift and I began making this commitment to hard work and goodwill and saying, I'm going to change my life. Once I made this commitment to say, I'm going to start looking forward with a no quit mentality. Or once I started saying, I'm going to go through this in a nine-inning game, and this is the first inning, I'm, I, I, I can tell you I looked at life differently, just as I hope you will look at life differently. My goal was that I want to come back to society with my dignity intact. I want to be able to put on a suit and tie, and I want to make sure that nobody knows I served a day in prison unless I told them. Now, I, if you Google, if you guys ever have access to Google and you Google my name, you'll see like I'm all over the internet about this guy who did 26 years in prison. But I can tell you, they don't look at me as a guy who spent his whole life in prison. I create business opportunities and deals using the lessons I learned in jail and prison because I changed my mindset. Because I can show them that I had, this was a nine inning game and this was going to be the first inning of me building, you know, a new model. 
That's what I want you guys to be thinking about. So I created this metric or this tool that would help me measure that. And so here is a score that would get me zero points on that. If I would have assessed myself by saying, nothing matters right now because I'm in a tough spot. I'm in jail. I don't care about anything. All I want to do is get out of here so I can go get myself a, a, a drink at the corner of the liquor store or I can get high or I can, you know, do it. You know, that's like a, that's like a goose egg, buddy. <laughs> that's a reality. That's like a zero. <laughs> that means that I'm no way am I ready to go cross the, the burdens and the, and, 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 and the things that are going to hurt me. I'm not ready. I, I, I'm not telling you, that's not a probation officer telling me that. That's me telling myself, honestly, if that's what I'm saying, I'm a zero. I'm not ready. I don't need anybody else to tell me that. This is about being self-directed if I want to be successful. Now, if success for me means something else, means all I want to do is get high or, or, and take everything that comes with it, then it wouldn't be a zero. But for me, the way I define success, I wouldn't have scored very high on this metric. Okay? So, so I would have not given myself a high score. And I want you guys to do this kind of own risk assessment on yourself. Think about how you are defining your, your, your level of success and preparation. Here's how I would have given myself three to four points on this scale, right? This risk assessment tool that I'm creating for myself. No case manager's making it for me. I'm making this based on how I define success. And that's what I'm encouraging you to do. Define your own values and use this tool to tell me whether you're on it or not. Here's three to four points. Well, I'm planning to work on that at some point, but I got a long sentence to serve and this isn't the time. I'm just, you know, I'm still in jail. I, I, I'm going to get, I got 45 years. So I'll do it later when I get closer to the door or maybe when I get to prison. Right now, I'm just trying to get through it day by day. Well, that's a little bit different from the zero to two points that says nothing matters. There's nothing I can't do. Because at least I say, someday I'm going to get it done. But that's probably not going to move the needle too well for me. If I say I'm planning at some point, nah, give myself the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to give myself four points out of 10 on that. I want you guys to be thinking this through in terms of how you define success in every area of your life, whether it's your fitness, whether it's your liberty, whether it's your sentencing date, whether it's how you're going to serve time, whether it's what you're going to do when you come home, use this metric and it'll help you engineer your path. Now we'll talk about a five to six point on the scale. Here's how I would answer it, how I define success. Well, it's not really clear on how my actions today are going to influence what I become tomorrow. You know? I'm gonna, I might say something like, okay, I'm going to be successful when I get out of here, okay? But I haven't really defined it. I, I, I might say, yeah, I want to be successful when I get out of here. But if I haven't clarified what that means, that's not what people who have achieved high levels of success have done. And you're going to learn that if you go through the module of the course, right? That's kind of defined in there about what are values. When, Steve, when Bill Gates said he was going to build Microsoft, he defined it very clearly. He said, I'm going to make sure that every house and every business has a computer. That was one of his goals. And now it's kind of normal. Everybody's got a, anybody who's got a phone basically has a computer. So it's kind of normal. People who succeed don't set ambiguous goals. I'm going to be successful. I want every house and every business to have a computer on it. And we may take that for granted today, but in 1985, when I started making really bad decisions, 
Nobody had a computer. <laughs> Computers didn't exist, right? I mean, when I went to prison, there were no cell phones. There was no internet. There were no computers or none of this, right? But it was because innovative people thought about it and got clarity on it. That's why they, our lives have changed. And it's why your life will change. And that's why we can turn to the next point on the grid, which is how would I get seven to eight points on that answer? It may say I have a very good understanding of what I'm trying to achieve, okay? And I know when I'm going to achieve it, okay? If you've defined success in a manner that says, I know what it looks like, I'm getting closer towards building an accountability metric, something that I can measure. And to the extent you use these tools, I truly believe that you start to change your life. That's what changed life for me. And that's what's going to take me to a nine to 10 points to say, I'm not going to maybe succeed. I'm going to get out and I'm going to crush it. But I got to define what that means. You may remember that when I got out of, when I transitioned from prison to a halfway house, I said that at the end of my sentence, within five years, I'll have my first million dollars. That was very, very clear. It said, not someday I'm going to have, I'm going to have a lot of money or and, you know, whatever a lot of money is, but not someday I'm going to have that. It said, within five years, I'm going to have a very specific target, one million. So if I talk about that and I define it, now that's what I would give myself nine to 10 points. I have clearly defined success and I have clearly articulated why this value is important to me. It wasn't important to me because I wanted to live some high life. It was important to me because I wanted to really go and teach and inspire more people and I needed to achieve a level of success that would show them, hey, here is a pathway that really works. And it's what I want you to be thinking about if you are going to define success in your life. Now, had I not made these decisions when I was in jail, to say first for me, I'm going to get an education, I am going to contribute to society in meaningful, measurable ways, and I am going to build a strong support network while I'm in jail, it would have been you know, fantasy or happy talk to say I'm going to make a million dollars in five years. You see, it's all about these incremental steps. But then it was also about documenting the process and saying, here's my strategy. Here is how I'm documenting the effort. Here are the tools and the tactics that I'm going to create that will help me get there. And here's how I'm going to hold myself accountable. So when you get this tool that I'm going to send to you today, it is not a tool for me. It's a tool for you. And I've just told you what was important for me. I don't know what's important for you. Only you know what's important for you. But you, what you, if, if, you're on, if you're going to pursue this path, then your actions should reflect what is consistent with this path. Your actions should reflect as Dr. Shmulu Shmuel Shlomo, I'm saying the, the author's name wrong. Your actions should reflect what Dr. Shmuel Shlomo advised in having the right mindset. It is, you gotta, you gotta be able to document it. You've gotta be able to um, show the tools and tactics you've developed and you've got to be able to build a, um, some type of tool that's measuring your progress so that you know, so that you know what is successful. And that's what I'm going to show you